but i had pumped a lot of milk and frozen it so he could still have breast milk then after the phd what did you do so after the i hadn't finished my phd when i got a job so again i was very very lucky uh, and i got a good tenure track position at the university of louisville in kentucky so we moved there uh, and they gave me so i was still abd which is uh, what before dissertation uh, i can't remember now the full form but uh, um, Uh, and they said that if you so i joined in july and they gave me till february to finish my uh, phd research and if i did that then i could continue on the tenure track uh, as an assistant professor so the uh, wo process bhi bada interesting tha jo job market wala process tha and i never kind of uh, uh, let the fact that i have kids either uh, inhibit me or stop me from taking care of my kids because i'm on the job market i mean there were times when to give a job interview i carried my youngest younger son that time with me and uh, i found the openness i mean may pro- it might not be there everywhere but again i found i found in my personal experience the openness to uh, so the, wherever so uh, the job interviews in the us are a couple of days uh, where uh, um going out for dinner meeting another faculty for breakfast giving a job talk teaching a sample class and all of them observing you through these two days as part of the job interview process so in many of those things i took my youngest son with me because i didn't want to leave him alone and uh, uh the the host university organized child care for me at another time i didn't my husband was taking care of Uh, aman and i remember i had pumped a lot of milk and frozen it so he could still have breast milk uh, but when i reached those you know because otherwise i was regularly breast feeding but when i was not the breasts get engorged and they are very very painful so i had to pump and so i remember my job talk was going to start in 45 minutes but i had to request the head of the department to come with me to the market to buy a pump so i can pump you know feel more comfortable and give a job talk and uh, so the point that i'm trying to make is that you know these are part of our living like these are things that are part of life and i don't think that they should be disengaged from our working life and then we should create places and systems where one can you know both men and women can uh, participate in the joys of parenthood or caregiving or anything else that they want to do uh, alongside their academic or professional works so university of louisville also similarly i had um, you know i had very supportive colleagues and often times i would take my children uh, to uh, work with me because there was a lot of juggling of child care isko yahan drop karna hai usko wahan drop karna hai Um, फिर पिक करना है फिर उस दिन छुट्टी है पर लेकिन आपको क्लास पढ़ानी है तो माई स्ट्रैटेजी वुड बी टू गिव द किड्स लाइक सो मोस्टली द एल्डर सन जो जल्दी पिक करना पड़ता था कई बार तो ही वुड सिट इन द लेक्चर हॉल वेर आई वॉज लेक्चरिंग एंड आई वुड गिव हिम अ लॉट सम लिटिल बिट ऑफ स्नैक्स टू ईट एंड सम थिंग्स टू कीप हिम बिजी लाइक सिजर्स एंड पे टेप एंड कलर्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो वाइल आई वुड फिनिश माई फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ लेक्चर बट देन आई न्यू दैट ही वॉज kind of also been taken care of so yeah it kind of just moved alongside and it was tough i mean it was tough for uh, us at, at many times where both jitesh and i were struggling to i mean there's a lot of pressure to publish there's a lot of pressure to do research there you have to reach your class on time and both of us have deadlines uh, so there were tough and trying times but i think ho oh, gaya yeah. <laughs> like do you think you could have done all that in india at that time or that even now because mm. it's not just about facilities that you said oh they had a very good child care system mm. but then there come openness that you mentioned that the mm. job interview would go mm. out with you and mm. buy this pump and mm. all that do you think you could have done that some india? things are easier in india i mean there's a large social network that people here have like wahan pe na ek ko notion hai sab kuch independently karna hai लोग हेल्प नहीं मांगते एक दूसरे से यहाँ पे पीपल हैव एक्सटेंडेड फैमिलीज नो एंड देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ सपोर्ट स्ट्रक्चर दैट वी 
have in india i mean um and uh, which can actually i mean help if there is a, if people have supportive families then it's much more workable here um institutionally itna nahi hai yahan pe institutionally us mein bhi shayad nahi hai i was just very lucky to always keep landing up in the right place uh and much more needs to be done institutionally and in india i think uh, institutionally karna chahiye aur but uh, we also have the family structure here which does allow for uh, you know intergenerational bonding also but um where caregiving tasks can be shared across different generations but that the family needs to be open right like yeah family needs to be it open it itself bound the women to Haan. stay in the home only to wo meri thi mera bahut privilege tha usme i mean i really feel very i do feel very supported 